Hi, my name is Amsan, and I'm here to show you just a, a quick um, tutorial, I hope. So this is about a technique, a fake 3D techniques. And you see the result. If I, I can move my camera left or right, zoom in or zoom out or rotate it. And I'll show you also how to place a uh, light and to make a uh, light in uh, and shadows over your 3D logo. So it's pretty quick technique and pretty easy to do and also uh, much, much lighter than the, um, than the um, copy, than the technique where you made a lot of copies of uh, your own logos and uh, space them in the 3D. I don't know if you know it, if you know this technique or not, but anyway. So let's start by creating a new comp. Uh, Full HD, okay, and let's drag our logo, turn it to 3D, and make a camera. So everything's okay. Now, if I move my camera, you see it's a flat 3D layer, of course. So let's reset my camera, hit transform, reset, and go to our logo. So let's start by uh, creating the lighting uh, effect. So uh, let's search for bevel alpha. Uh, and uh, this is what will cre create us the uh, lightning. Uh, let's reset this value. And after that, we need to place a uh, um, CC radial blur. And not the first one, the normal one. Okay, so if we uh, begin to play with this amount. Yeah, it's not so. Let's try fading zoom. Okay. And after that, we will apply uh, a curve adjustment of the alpha to make it almost whole. Okay, so maybe it, it was not. Yeah, it's fading zoom, but the value uh, it have to be yeah negative. Okay, so we begin here to start to see something like three D, but if we turn our layer, there is no three D adjustment. There is no uh, we we know already that it's fake. So how do we manage to avoid that? It's by playing with this value. See here, if I change this value here, I can do it manually, but I want it that it update. Uh, wherever I move the camera, I want this value to update and give me a nice realistic result. So to do that, uh, my idea was to create a null object here that I called horizon. Okay, I make it 3D, turn it 3D and place it way back. So like about 5,000. It's way, way back. And to tell um, this effect that I want the center of the radial blur to follow this horizon position on the screen. You see? Uh, so to do that, there is a pretty easy um, expression to do and I'll may you'll find it in the description below. And this is the one. So let's copy it. And came here and paste it. So basically, what's this expression said? So X is uh, this comp layer horizon. Yeah. Uh, I keep the same name so it will work. Transform position. So I want to take this position in the 3D and ex and uh, guess the one the the position of it on the screen. So this value, this 3D position from comp here. So I have now new value that said I will take this 3D position and convert it in a position over uh, 3D. Comp. I don't know if it's clear for you, but it's like transposing a 3D position into a 2D position. So once I've done that, you see that now, wherever I move my camera, the 3D will follow. Because every time 
this larger blur will have its center here following this uh, 3D horizon uh, layer. So once I've done that, I still have this kind of blur over my logo. So I need to do one more effect. It's called uh, CC Composite. So I'll find it here. Uh, so I go to Channel, and sorry, CC Composite. And now I have my uh, original logo over uh, this one, over what I've just done. So that's how I can now and maybe lower the value. OK. So uh, now let's make a light, new light. We have also um, an effect that you can do here. I go to curve. I know we played with the alpha, but let's go play a little bit with the RGB and lower this value, just to make the sides uh, darker, darker than the front. This will uh, create a clear separation between them, and the 3D effect will be better. OK, so after that, let's go to this slide. And I want to uh, make my bevel uh, auto-orient with the light. So there is a cool and quick technique to do that. Let's create a new null object, and uh, uh, it's in the center. OK, let's call it light master. OK, and let's uh, parent this light, link to this light to this light master. OK, then I go to P, hit P for position, and bring this position to 0 so that my light will be on the same um, at, at the center of the screen, since my layer uh, was in the center of screen also. So why is that? Because now, let's move it up. Because now, if I turn this rotation, uh, X rotation, no, not X rotation. Sorry, the Z rotation. If I turn this, the light will turn with it. And if I want to make the light um, further, I just only have to play with the, this value, the Y value. You can also make some expression controllers here, two of them, that duplicate this one. The first one will say the rotation, and the second one will say, say uh, distance, for example. And you can also play, create a third one and call it Z. So this one is for the rotation. Let's hit, take this value from here. Uh, we have the light. You can select separate dimension, dimension, sorry. Keep the X, uh, X on zero and create expression for the other. So Y position will be our distance. Let's OK, and Z position will be, oh, sorry, Z, Z. OK, so right now it's 0. That's why everything turned black. And uh, I will give it a negative value, like minus 200 or more. Yeah, the more bigger the value, the f further away will go the light. And this is the distance from the top. And here is our rotation. You see? And once we have this value, this rotation, we can go back to our logo and tell him, tell the, to this slight angle to follow the, also the, um, the, the light master angle. OK, so where was that? Here. And rotation. So right now. Let's play with the bevel thickness, light intensity. OK, you can also give him the same color of the light if you want. Uh, but uh, just in case you want to choose another, not a white light, maybe blue or something. Uh, so right now, if you move the light with the light master, you see that the, the lighting update automatically. And it's good. 
So really, it's this simple. And let's go to our camera and see what you have here. We are in full resolution, and if you say it half, it's really quick, you see. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any question or if you want to uh, have some idea for some tutorial, and so just ask me in the comment below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Whoa, 12 minutes. I was guessing <laughs> I was planning to do it in two minutes, actually. <laughs> yeah, silly of me. Okay, goodbye.